Hey there, welcome to Hoberick. If you, like me, are struggling to write lyrics, uh, I think this video today is going to help you out. Hey there, I'm Ulf at Hoberick Recording Studios and YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. If you want help with recording, mixing or mastering or something like that, you're welcome to check my website at hoberick.com. Uh, where you can listen to some of my previous work and also contact me via the contact form. So let's get on with the video. The way I think most people are writing lyrics, or at least I used to, is like you try to come up with some sort of topic or whatever you want to write about, and then you just try to really come up with some deep, meaningful lyrics for that. I find that it's really, really hard and time consuming. My English vocabulary is not that huge. So especially when writing, writing lyrics in English, that's really hard for me. And I really learned through the years that I cannot sit around and wait for inspiration. Like right now, I have to write lyrics for the upcoming album with my own band. And I just can't sit around and wait for it to come to me just from above because it's going to take forever. I just come up with the same thing over and over again. But I mean, it's not necessarily bad to write about the same topic over and over again. I mean, just listen to the radio for a day and you're going to see that everything is about the same thing. So it, I don't have an issue with that. It's just more that I'm starting to repeat myself with the same words and the same kind of structure. So I've come up with some tricks and methods to like break out of that pattern. Uh, and I'm gonna tell you about that today, but I will not show you any of my lyrics because I'm way too self-conscious for that and uh, It would break me to have a bunch of you guys just telling me in the comment section that it sucks So if you want to hear my lyrics, you just have to check out my bands or something like that the bands where I'm singing So here's how you can do it first come up with a really cool sounding song title uh, if you can't come up with that, just scroll through your iTunes or your Spotify list uh, until you find a song title with any of your favorite bands that you think this song title is really speaking to me in some way or it feels inspirational. Usually you would maybe think about it like you write the lyric and then you write the title afterwards, but today we're going to try to do it backwards. So come up with that title, write it on a paper. So now when you have that title, just brainstorm and write down the first word you think of when you read the title and when you think of it. And do that until you have about, yeah, say between 10 and 20 words, uh, depending on how long the lyric have to be. Now when you have that list of words, you're gonna run it through some sort of synonym dictionary. Uh, you can find a lot of them online. Uh, you can just Google another word for and then insert a specific word. Or you can check out thesaurus.com or uh, synonyms.com or you can just Google it. You, you're gonna find plenty of them. I'm gonna insert some links in the description down below this video too. Then pick all the words that you find really interesting and that makes you like put you in a thought train of some sort. Put down all those words on the same paper as the words that you originally came up with. The next step is to run all the words that you have on a paper through a rhyme lexicon. Same thing again, just Google for rhymes. Uh, there are plenty of rhyme lexicons. I'm gonna put some links below here too. Go through all the words again in the rhyme lexicon. Maybe you don't wanna use rhymes in your song. Maybe you think that's cheesy. I like rhymes from time to time, but not always. Do this anyway, because it's gonna make you come up with a lot of new words that maybe you wouldn't have thought of otherwise. Now write down all the words you find using this uh, method on the same paper. So now you're gonna have a bunch of word on this paper, and then you start to just form sentences around those words. It's gonna be a lot more easy to find new sentences and whole lines of lyrics when you have a bunch of new words that you haven't used that much before. At least for me, this makes it a lot easier to just come up with lyrics. If I'd have some sort of new words that give me some sort of inspiration, that's the thing. maybe I think they sound cool. Just write all the sentences you can think of out of those new words and see what you can come up with. Maybe some of them will suck, maybe some of them will be great, and you will probably find a red thread that will keep the lyric together and actually have a meaning for you. If you want a song to have a specific meaning or a specific topic, you're gonna find that red thread. Or otherwise, I don't see anything wrong with just having a composition of words that fits really good together and fits together with the music. Uh, it's not like every chord or every tone in the song is supporting one specific topic. And I don't think necessary the lyrics have to do that every time, even though I am an advocate and I really appreciate lyrics that has some sort of meaning, uh, because that's gonna make a bigger impact, at least on me. Maybe you think this is kind of cheating or you think that the lyrics should, should come from your heart and from pure inspiration, but 
I think of this as just preparing with a wide palette of words to paint that picture. I hope you can take something away from these tips. Let me know in the comment sections what you think. If you have any other tips uh, on uh, how to write lyrics, please share it in the comment section because I really need it. This is just one tool that I use to kickstart that inspiration. Uh, I could really use more tools. So if you know anyone that can use the tips in this video, please share it. Uh, otherwise, I see you next week. Bye bye. Cheers.